Welcome back to NAB Show Live. I'm Alex Lindsay, and we're here with Leslie Samuel. I am excited to be here. We're seeing so many cool things. We, we, we were, we, it's been quite a busy hour. It we has had. We been. started off with storage, then we storage, moved to storms. Storms. And now we're, and now we're moving into cameras. Now so. we're with Canon. We're here with uh, Chuck Westfall from Canon. Nice How you doing? Nice to uh, meet you guys. Nice to be here. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Awesome. So what is new at Canon? We have so many different things here at this show, but uh, we're going to lead off with one of the most exciting products that we're bringing here. It's mm -hmm. called the EOS C300 Mark II. Oh. Now, this is a new kind of uh, video camera that basically can shoot 4K video internally, which means that it can record directly to a compact flash type card, a CFast card. Okay. Um, and uh, it can also record uh, full HD, of course, but basically uh, to have ability to do that 4K internal is one important thing. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we want to talk about with that camera is the ability to have what's called a 15-stop dynamic range, and that means that you can shoot in any kind of lighting condition that you could possibly imagine, no matter how contrasty it is, and still come up with a usable image. And, and that was always the challenge. When, oh, we, yes. I, when we started with digital video, you know, back in, you know, uh, it, in, in the early days, the big problem that you had for DPs was that, that digital video would create such a small target to hit. And, and you think that, oh, they should just be able to figure that out. But when you've got the sun outside and a shadow in the foreground and, a, and you're trying to keep all of that together, that becomes a bigger challenge. You know? now, now, that's recording that dynamic range internally, right, to, the, to Compact Flash? Yeah, it's actually called CFast 2.0, which is the next generation past Compact Flash. And the reason we did that is because with the 4K, you've got four times the data compared to HD. Yeah. What is the data for what you're recording? Uh, you're looking at 410 megabits per second. So basically what we're saying is that for every 32 gigs of uh, your storage space, you got about 10 minutes of video. Right. And uh, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a, a hefty chunk there. So, uh, but you know, the ability to do that internally on a, on a memory card is really going to free up people to be able to shoot in locations that you know, were not really feasible for 4K before. And how much space are we getting on those um, internal cards? Well, the cards that are available right now start at about 64 gigabyte and move on up from there. I mean, it just depends uh, uh, primarily on uh, what the budget is yeah. because they, they start to get a little bit more expensive. And, 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 and how large can they get? Um, they can go right now uh, at least up to uh, 256 gigabyte that's uh, currently available, but okay. the spec goes much higher. Okay. No, that's great. And, and, the, uh, and of course, it's Canon, so you're going to be able to put your, EO, you know, you put your lenses on that you already have with your Canon cameras, so that's an easy, kind of an easy adapter, but you can also have other mounts? Well, you have actually uh, the choice when you get this camera to use either the EF mount, which is all the Canon lenses, yeah. or the PL mount, which right. is uh, the standard industry. So you can get it uh, set uh, basically that even if you bought one mount or the other, that it can be changed to the different mount after the fact. And so that's a mechanical it's, change. It's you're right. pulling a piece out and putting another piece right. in to, to make that swap. So it's very uh, you know flexible that way for people who, uh, who basically uh, you know might need to be able to change depending on the production they're working on. Yeah. Um, and the other thing too that we need to mention that's really kind of uh, fairly unique about this camera is the idea that it has a very powerful autofocus system called the dual pixel CMOS AF. Now autofocus for a lot of uh, professional videographers is a dirty word yeah. because it usually is uh, something they don't want to do, they rather have complete control. But with the dual pixel CMOS AF, what we're doing is basically giving people a tool to be able to uh, uh, make their videos uh, you know, a little bit more creative, especially when they're working with live talent. Uh, especially if they're uh, shooting in any kind of situation where the camera's handheld and the, uh, either the camera operator or the talent is moving around, mm -hmm. you have somebody there in the camera helping you to be able to keep that person in focus. And it really it works very, very So once you have them in focus, if they're moving around, it, it, it latches onto that image, right. uh, that individual, so that it stays in focus. Exactly right. And that leads me to uh, uh, one other thing. Now, that's not particular uh, to the C300 Mark II, but we did introduce um, actually our second Cine Servo lens. And that's a big deal for when you're doing this type of work because with the Cine Servo lens, it's kind of like with the, the ENG cameras that people are used to using in the 2 thirds inch format where you basically have a control panel in your hand that lets you do all your zooming and focusing um, automatically. And uh, so to be able to do that in the Super 35 format, which is a much, much bigger sensor, mm -hmm. is a ter terrific uh, advantage. And what are the controllers for that? 
Uh, well, is there any external? Is there any ability to do external control for the lens? Yeah, that's what I'm saying is, is that when you get uh, the Cine Servo, you've got the controller there. It's actually a removable piece, and then uh, you can connect it to a battery power or connect it to the various different other uh, devices that you're working with. So you can have, you can, you can bring it down, and, and that you can use external devices on, you know, so that a lot of times what you want is you don't want to be reaching up here. So, right. so for those of when you're when you're doing these yeah, these, yeah, these yeah. kind of live events, I don't want to be reaching up here. What I actually want to do is have it down on on my. You know, on my tripod. Right. So you've got the three ports built into that uh, servo right. that uh, go directly as industry standard into your uh, controllers that you would. Right. So any do. any controllers that you would buy yeah, that are following. Them, yeah. Right. And so there's a couple of different lenses that we have. Uh, 17 to 120 is the most common one uh, that will cover like the standard focal length range, and that's already available on the market. But here at the show, we're showing for the first time a new ultra telephoto of the Cine Servo line from 50 to 1,000 millimeter. And How so much? Uh, it's it's going to be roughly in the seventy thousand dollar range. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. But you know what you're talking about here is a lens that can be used uh, on location for nature uh, documentary, yeah. and uh, you can get some unbelievable imagery. And I told you fifty to one thousand, but there's also an extender that uh, boosts it up to fifteen hundred. Oh wow. So. Uh, well, uh, and again, like uh, for a lot of us, it's not how much we're gonna how much we're gonna buy that lens for, but how much we're gonna rent that lens for. You know. Yeah, so yeah. so we're gonna you know these are gonna be at a rental house, and and we're gonna go buy them. And speaking and, of which. Uh, we just uh, signed an agreement with Otto Nemitz, who's one of the top uh, names in the rental industry, and he's right. going to be uh, carrying that lens. In fact, they've already started. That's awesome. fantastic. And the camera itself, how much does that run? Um, the EOC 300 Mark II is going to be available in September at a retail price of about $20,000. Okay. Awesome. Now, you know, and addition, is the C300 still available? Yes, and the, it has been reduced in price all the way down to $6,499. So wow. it's really... Uh, and it's a great camera. I've actually right. shot a lot on the C300. And in C500, and um, and been really really happy with the with the results. So yeah. It's, it's so a, it's this really, is really really. I think it's going to be interesting to see the uh, the improvements in quality and also operability that you get on the Mark II. But you know the C300 for 64.99 is an absolute steal. Absolutely. All right. And one other uh, camera that we didn't announce at the show uh, that we want to make sure people are aware of is the new XC10. And that's also a 4K uh, video camera, but it's much much smaller. It's uh, it's like in the palm of your hand. Okay. And it has a, a fixed 10 times optical zoom lens on a 24 to 240 focal length range, um, a 28 to 56 aperture, but basically the ability to shoot 4K in the palm of your hand, and also it has an SD card slot for shooting in HD, so that you can do both simultaneously. And, and oh, what wow. is the uh, what, what are the outputs out of that camera? Okay, that camera basically has got the HDMI out on it. It doesn't have like an HD SDI or anything like that. And is it um, a, is it a is this uh, is it doing 1080p or is it a 4K output from the camera? You can actually do 4K output uh, directly because you've got the HDMI right. uh, upgraded to be able to handle that at uh, 30 frames per second. <laughs> That's fantastic. And there's also ability to do a frame grab directly in camera too. So that uh, for people who are doing online work, you know, to, to the ability to uh, grab an 8 megapixel still out of that camera and just at the press of a button is uh, quite an ex extra advantage to have. Right. And just to clarify, the, the HDMI coming out of that, uh, the smaller camera, is a clean HDMI. There's no interface on it. It's just raw. So for instance, if I had a 4K switcher, I could theoretically put four of those in and be switching between four live feeds. There's no reason why not. And what's the price on yeah. that? And this is going to be a $24.99 okay. uh, mm -hmm. price point. It's available in June. And uh, one of the things that we're doing to even make that camera a little bit more uh, uh, usable right out of the box is supplying it with the 64-gigabyte uh, CFast card and a card reader. So uh, we realize that they're not as ubiquitous as, as some of the other memory cards that are out there. So yeah. it will help people get started. That's great. And, and the form factor is, is more like the Vixi or more like the XF105 as far um, as the I would say that it's, uh, it's actually in, in a way a, a kind of uh, more similar to uh, a compact digital camera, really. I mean, because it's, it's almost like a little square container, mm -hmm. and then it has like the moving screen on the back end. Right, right. It has a hot shoe on the top. Now, uh, for people who are going to use it outdoors, there is also supplied a... Uh, a loop that'll basically slip right on the back, and then because the screen can flip up, you can actually look straight down into it or hold it at eye level. And the and the chip size on, on that? It's the one inch sensor, which uh, is actually coming on pretty strong in terms of uh, uh, you know popularity because 
it really gives you a, a, a very, very high level of image quality and a very small form factor. And especially when you're doing work like interviews, it has enough depth of field that you're able to uh, hold focus on a group of people. Well, I think a lot of people underestimate the power of a smaller chip sometimes. That we, we still use for a lot of our live events, two thirds inch chips, because you know, we're, you know, we want to be able to, we're, we're zooming from the back of the room and I want to be able to have a certain amount of right. stage still available to me. So it's not necessarily, not everything has to be through the frame. <laughs> exactly right. So you know, this is actually uh, kind of, a, in, in my opinion, a, a nod to the practicality of a lot of situations that you're dealing with, where you really want to have that extra depth. Absolutely. Where can people find you in the hall? Um, absolutely. Come on over to a CR booth at C4325. Um, and if uh, you're interested in more information on the products themselves, be sure to visit our website at usa.panon.com. All right. Awesome. Great. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks, Les. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be right back with NAB Show Live.